Hi, this is Jonathan. Welcome to the new year. It's 2019. And for my first video of the year, I thought I would talk about pigs. When I first started playing guitar, I wasn't using any picks. You know, I was using my fingernails, and I was playing acoustic most of the time. You know, and uh, I get would get so dehydrated sometimes that my nails become became brittle, and pieces of my nails will go flying across the room <laughs> as I play my guitar, which is very distressing to say the least. But you know, that's the way it was. And as the year go by, as the years go by, I, I picked up the electric guitar, and I. Uh, settle on a pick, any pick would do, the cheapest pick around. And I got by with it. And as I started playing professionally, that's where I, I, I pay a little bit more attention to the picks that I'm using. Um, I was using those uh, big um, fender type of uh, of a pick, that's this triangle thing, right? Just great to hold because it's so big. And um, before this came along, I was playing like the small ones and the small picks, and uh, these were like you know they will fly all over the place, you know. And I, especially when I'm doing strumming for funky stuff and stuff, you know, and the picks will start flying left and right, and I will be going around looking for the picks. And that's where this invention called the pick holder comes in, came in back back then, you know, back in the late 70s to the you know 80s. And these are ugly little things that are pick shape and where you can slot a whole lot of picks inside and then you can stick it to your guitar. And every time a pick goes flying, you would just replace one from your pick holder. And <laughs> and yeah, that was like really, really uh, useful for me on stage because I was losing picks to the left and right because I, I get so hyped up when I was playing. I was young then. <laughs> and. Um, Sometimes I would lose my favorite pick and I'll, I would look for it after the set, you know, after the show, and I would look for it in the dark. And sometimes I'll find it, sometimes I don't. 
So I, I finally settled on this big, uh, a bigger pick, and the pick start started flying less. <laughs> you know, I start losing uh, less picks, and I got to keep some of the, the my favorite ones for the longest time. And you know, as picks go, you know, I mean, I'm playing rock. Back in the 80s, you know, the 80s where you had all those, you know, where you scratch the pick against the, the strings, and this would get serrated, you know, it, it was chipped off, not really chipped off, it was just worn out. I wonder, can you see this? This is like really worn out on the side, and I would keep these picks, you know, these sort of serrated picks for a longest time because I find that if I'm playing like a uh, rhythm stuff you know especially with chorus arpeggios back in the 80s and you get that crystal sound which is so popular back in the 80s and uh, I would purposely keep these picks so that I can get that sort of sound and even when I'm doing muted guitar like when doing you know like funk stuff and it, it sort of uh, enhances the muted guitar parts um, and I will hold on to this pick as long as I can you know until they go missing on me and as I progressed from uh, live playing to studio work, I uh, started playing acoustic guitar, you know, and um, I seldom play the acoustic guitar, but because of the studio work that I do, uh, the, uh, the acoustic guitar uh, sessions became, uh, opened up to me. So I started playing a whole lot of acoustic guitars. And I settled on a pick uh, that was made by Dan Lop. And these are the, um, the 0.6. You know, 0.60 mm. You know, these are really considered thin. You know, not ultra thin, just thin. And I like these because they have a, a sort of a grip on, on on the flat surface, so I wouldn't like, lose it when I'm strumming in the, in the studio or even in live situation. And it's 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 good because I can actually play arpeggios with it and not and not feel too flabby on it. I could just like you know edge it just a little bit to the more edge, and I can have a more harder of it, uh, a, a harder point, so to speak, instead of flabbing around if you're holding on to the edge. And I, I I would use I would do arpeggios and strumming with this, and it sounds really nice because it's it's nice and soft. Uh, recently, I I, I kind of changed them to a what is this? This is 0.73, not 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 so much thicker, you know, but still enough, you know. I I just Kind of like like the the heavier, uh, slightly heavier uh, texture of this pick, and I can control my strumming just by you know not grabbing it too hard, and just like you know just holding it lightly, and I can still get that same sound that I would get from the 0 0.63, and I can do better uh, line works with this because it's a bit harder. So these are the picks that I use for acoustic guitar. As far as electric guitars are concerned, you know my friend Thomas. Um, he it's a funny thing because he's a bassist, you know, and he would buy picks for me to try. And he he bought me these two picks. You know, one is called the Stubby, Stubby Triangle, which is a 1.5 mm. It's Gravity Classic, and it's also 1.5. I like this, you know. Uh, this is good for 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 solo work, you know. And these are pretty nice too, but I find it a bit thick for me to my liking. But it really works great for for certain stuff. Um, this, on the other hand, I, I, I prefer this to solo work, but then I couldn't, I couldn't do, I, it is not an all-rounder pick, you know, I couldn't be possibly changing this for solo and then changing back to a normal pick for, for rhythm work. For rhythm work, I find that this is a bit too hard, you know, just slightly a bit too hard. Um, I finally settle on a, on a pick um, that is 1.2 in thickness, and it's the Holly Benton uh, I don't know what you call this, this is a real cheap pick, you know, you can get it from Tomine. And um, before this, prior to this, I had the uh, the Alderio Classic, which is a 1.0 mm. And these are a little bit bigger than the Harley Benton, you know, so these are great, actually. Uh, I find these are really comfortable, uh, but I just wanted a, a, a slightly heavier pick. So I chose the Harley Benton, which, is, which has the same triangle shape, you know, the the advantage being that because it's triangle, it doesn't matter which way I hold, you know, I can always play with any point of it. Whereas if I were to play a pick like this, sometimes when you're playing, you know, it, it gets round up and then you're starting playing, you're starting to play off the rounded end instead of the pointed end and that and that uh, don't feel good to me. So, yeah, so I chose the triangle picks for that reason. 
and for the for the other reason which is is easier to hold easier to grip and uh, i've been using this ever since so guitar picks are really essential you know really really uh plays a, a big important part and the way you hold your pick you know um like you know if you were to uh grab it like really really you know when you're just showing just a little bit of a tip you know and then when you're playing with, with the action of your wrist you know you can you can get really um great action going on like you know it can be very precise if you want to uh, strike in the note where you want to and especially when you're doing fast runs you know you can you can actually be very accurate and that's the whole point of having a harder pick um but for rhythm work you know um, there's so much you can do of course you can lighten up the 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 grip of your of your hard pick but that doesn't help much because the hard pick is too hard and you, you need some sort of a, a flexibility in your pick uh, which is only available through the lighter gauge of the picks to have a good strumming action going on so you know you know what i mean so whatever the case is you know um for you guys who are beginning to play electric guitars or uh, go experiment because picks are relatively cheap they're quite affordable so um, go through a whole bunch of uh, picks that you are interested in. You know, some of you guys like the teardrop shape, and some of you, some of you guys like me like the the old traditional uh, triangle shape. Uh, it don't matter, uh, just as long as you are comfortable with it. And uh, we are all made differently. You know, uh, we are fearfully and wonderfully created by our creator, so we are all made differently. So our thumb size, <laughs> our index finger size are all different. So. Um, Choose the one that suits you, and then if you decided on that pick, you know, and you're scared of losing picks, buy in bulk, like what I do for, for some of these picks. I buy a 60 pieces pack of this every time when I order from Tamai. And they keep me happy for years because, you know, they're always there, and I, I, I'm not afraid of losing picks. So every time I go on tour, I would like bring a bunch of them on the road with me just in case I lose these picks. Right? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, give me a thumbs up. And again, a happy new year to you. And uh, I'll see you again. Ciao.